Hello and welcome back to another book review. What I have for you here today is book two in the Library of Esoterica uh, Astrology. And this is published by the one and only Tashin, of course. And I have all four books in the series thus far, but um, actually, I don't want to say that this one, that this astrology is my favorite um, because I love them all so, so much, but the artwork in this book is just, I mean, it's its incredible, really. Um, and I'll show, I'll flip through some of it. I just want to show you this, uh, this cover image here. It's very alluring. And uh, it's stamped, as you can see, the geometric patterns here on the uh, side of the spine cover. The text and the the uh, Library of Esoterica logo there is also stamped. And I'll show you the spine. It's much like the others in the series. I don't know what this, it's not fabric. It's paper, but it feels like fabric. It's very soft, I like it a lot. And and the cover image, back cover image actually. Funny enough, this was one of the images that uh, was in um, the Alchemy and Mysticism book I reviewed last week. Yeah. So, if we open it up here, we have the patterned uh, Library of Esoterica logo really nice red color and the opening blurb that's in the front page of all the books in the series and the cover page and the table of contents so we'll just bring it a little closer for you to have a better look Feel free to pause if you want to uh, have a better look. Um, but it's the book is divided into four chapters. Um, the first chapter kind of goes into the uh, the history of Western astrology. Uh, the book the second chapter uh, discusses the planets in the solar system and their relation to astrology, and then uh, chapter three is uh, breaking down the uh, the twelve uh, the twelve signs of the zodiac, and then four we have um, uh, that was discussing the, the star charts and um, and whatnot. The the essays themselves um, they don't really provide any new uh, information. Really, they just more so uh, offer like an introductory um, like a brief introduction to astrology as a whole. Uh, if you want more information, you should do your own research. This is primarily an art book, as all the books in the series. Um, however, the essays are are uh, insightful and, and worth reading, but um, I wouldn't say that they're uh, very memorable at all, really. Just, uh, what I love about Tashin too is they really do not skip out on on quality. I mean, the paper is perfect um, for uh, rendering artwork such as this. I mean, you really do see every little detail. Nothing is lost, and the colors are very rich and bold as well. So it's just it's just very eye catching, and the paper is. Um, it's, uh, it almost has like a, I don't know, like a waxy feel to it. Very thick. Um, so, you know, the book is definitely made for, for thumbing through. And we'll just kind of skip through the, uh, the history here and get into, into, uh, some of the juicier aspects of the book. About the sun, and the planets, and the luna. And what I 
appreciate about this book is that as we progress through the ages, um, more and more modern uh, artwork is introduced. I was actually quite happy to see um, a few artists that I actually follow on uh, social media in here. Um, Peter Moorbacher, uh, Mika Ulrich, to name a couple. So that's really nice. It's not just the same, uh, uh, you know, artists being reused throughout the series. There's some diversity in there as well. So each of the uh, zodiac signs, actually, if I skip to show you here. So each of the zodiac signs um, has a page here that just lists the, uh, the elements, uh, the dates, symbols, everything associated with Taurus, or this one specifically Taurus, everything associated with each of the, the signs. And uh, here's another one by Nika Org. I just really love um, seeing each artist's interpretation. Some of them are so. Um, simply designed, others are more very, you know, complex and elaborate and highly detailed, sur surreal feeling almost. It's just, uh, I love, I love artwork and I just like seeing everybody's different styles just ooze off the page. Ooh, cancer here. Yeah, as you can see, there's just all sorts of beautiful artwork. Really, uh, really could get lost in this book, <laughs> whole series. But, um, I don't know how much weight I put into. Oh, first Libra. I'm a Libra. Oh. Scorpio Libra cusp, actually. I don't know how much weight I put into astrology as a whole, but nonetheless, it's something that I like to read about just for fun, if anything. I'm not living my life based on my <laughs> astrological sign, that's for sure. Ah, oh, yeah, here's a, here's a, uh, this is Peter Moorbacher. He's a Zuriel angel of Libra, and he's well known for his uh, Angelarium series. Very fascinating artist, one that I that inspires me greatly in my own artwork. as we're coming to the end here. Aquarius. Pisces. I believe, yeah, Pisces. This is interesting too. Mermaids. I really, really like this image as well. This is uh, Cyril Jones. This one is also very interesting and captivating. It has like a Salvador Dali, Rene Magritte type feel to it. This is uh, Vasco Tchaikovsky. And then as we approach the end of the book here, we have uh, um, 
Got some essays on, uh, on the chart, the star charts. Um, let's see, I mean, look at all this detail. Like nothing is missed. Not that this is of any benefit to me because it's in Latin, but I believe it's in Latin. I really, this image really uh, is very interesting. Let me give you a close up of it. And you can even see like every little, every little line and dot. Beautifully rendered, it really is. But, I mean, that's what you get when you go with the uh, Tashin. They're known for their exceptional quality. Here we have a nice image of Pythagoras here. Basically the book in a nutshell. Here's an interesting image. <laughs> More colorful and bold. And uh, we end the book with a brief uh, bibliography and uh, uh, artwork credits and uh, uh, some uh, reading sources and acknowledgements as well. So that is the end of the book. Um, overall, um, this is an art book. First and foremost, if you're looking for something that's more in-depth and um, more academic in nature, this is not the book I would go with. This is an art book. If you are a fan of artwork, uh, you're going to want to get this because it's just, it's just packed. It's over 500 pages of beautiful, beautiful imagery and I, I can't rave about this series enough. I it's just something else. <laughs> it really is. But thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.